a lot of stuff. This video is going to be slightly different. Uh, usually I'm riding the unicycle. Today I've kind of deconstructed it. So behind me, uh, laid out in a very kind family's garage, I've kind of taken over their garage, um, is all my stuff. So this is currently all the stuff I'm carrying on my World Unicycle Tour. And I'm now going to show you what I'm carrying. I'm going to start with my camping gear. My stove is a little Primus OmniLite TI. And it's been pretty good to me. It, it's a multi-fuel stove, so it runs off pretty much anything you want to put in it. Um, I only use it with petrol. This is my little petrol bottle. It's 350 mil. Um, and this will do me, I don't know, 15 cooks, maybe 20 if you're not cooking so long. A little lighter. And then these are the pans that I use to cook my food in at night. Um, they're a little bit grubby at the moment. I haven't washed them. Need to, uh, need to wash them. This is my tent. It's an MSR Hubber NX. And it's been really good. Um, I've had this tent for a year. I got it in Hong Kong um, over a year ago now but I left the UK with a Terra Nova tent. And that one was okay, but the zip started to fail and uh, it got a bit blown over in a storm on top of a, a sand dune in China. And after that, it just wasn't the same. So I got this new one. Good tent, single man, a reasonable amount of space. These are my socks. These stay in the tent. These stay in my sleeping bag. I don't ride with these. These are just to keep my feet warm in the tent. This is my sleeping bag. And this is my little silk sleeping bag liner. Um, good investment, this. Keeps the inside of this one reasonably clean. And it gives another a little kind of extra layer of warmth, this thing does. Sleeping bag, not as warm as it was. It's a down thing. Uh, it's a Chinese thing as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know that brand. Yusebo Cocoon 300, who knows? Um, it says that it's rated to minus five. Yeah, it's not rated to minus five anymore. I've had it for over a year as well, and this thing got wet a few times, and the down starts to kind of clump up inside, um, and it's not as warm as it used to be. My sleeping pad is a Climate Inertia X-Frame. Um, I've had four of them this trip. This is the fourth. This one's pretty much new. Um, they're okay. They're really lightweight, um, and they're quite comfortable but they do start to fatigue around the seams um, over time. So I guess give it six months and it starts to fatigue and you gotta start sort of uh, patching them with, uh, with patches. But I'll take that, that trade off. It's been good to me, um, but yeah, don't expect it to last for more than about six months. Moving on to clothing, specifically cycling clothing. This is my cycling jersey. I only ever carry one. Um, it's got my sort of logos and things all over it. Um, and I, re I, yeah, I guess I replaced it about four times this trip. The shoes that I wear are 510 high tops, and I've only ever used these, this type of shoe for this entire trip. Not this one in particular, um, this is the fourth pair, I think, but they're really good. They give you really good ankle support. They're kind of quite high, as you can see. Um, they're a little bit heavy, and your feet get a little bit hot when it's warm, but I'll take that trade off for the kind of ankle support, so you're not gonna, you know, you feel confident you're not gonna turn an ankle if and when you do come off the unicycle. I also really like the grip on the bottom as well. They interface very well with my pedals. At the moment, I'm carrying two cycling shorts. Um, I have just been using these ones. I bought these ones the other day. I haven't actually ridden in these yet, so I'm keen to try those out because I was getting some saddle sores with this one. So I'm hoping different padding might help. This is my helmet. It's a Specialized Pro Pro 3, if that means anything to anybody. Uh, I was given it by the local bike shop back home. Um, it's actually my second helmet of this trip. They've both been red. Um, and I really like it. I, I tend to modify my helmets quite a lot. So I've got a little rear light on the back of it. So that helps um, alert cars that I'm, I'm there. Um, that's where my rear light is. I've got this little rim thing, which I picked up in China, which is just a hat, which I kind of lashed on, cut the center out and lashed on. That helps to sort of cut on some sort of sun hitting my face. Quite like it. Um, and this is a new addition. It's, um, it's a selfie stick. So the idea is you put a camera on the front there and, and you film yourself hands-free when you're riding. Still testing this thing, really, but it's on there for now. These are my gloves. Uh, they're Hestra, apparently. Um, they're three finger gloves. They're quite unusual. So it means that um, three, of your, three of your fingers go in in this section. Your index finger goes in one and then your thumb goes in, in another one. Coat for when it rains. 
I don't know the brand, I bought it in China. It's some kind of cheap Chinese thing, but it's lasting me all right. And a luminous jacket for when the roads get a bit scary. Civilian clothing, trousers, top, socks, and boxes. And I know what you're thinking. Is that it? Is that all the clothes you're carrying? Um, yes and no, but also carrying the stuff that I'm wearing now. So shorts, another top, and another pair of boxes. Two pairs of boxes in total. Over here we've got maintenance stuff. So here we've got a little sewing kit, super handy, just a few needles, some thread. Uh, wouldn't want to travel without it. I'm constantly ripping stuff, like bags and clothing and what have you, so sewing kit, that's what you need. Tire levers for taking the tire off when you get punctures. Um, puncture repair kit for also when you, when you get punctures. Tapes for kind of miscellaneous stuff. We've got electrical tape here. We've got duct tape, a bunch of sort of Allen keys here for different, yeah, different size Allen keys. A little spanner for a certain uh, nut that needs to come off my bike. And here we have some uh, super glue, also very handy. I like the small ones because basically once you open a super glue, it kind of, that's kind of it. So these are kind of one time use things and I've got more spare parts and things in this one. I'm not going to open it, but take my word for it. We've got spare bolts and stuff. I was spare uh, 36 inch tube in here as well. This stuff is when my bike breaks. This is for when I break. So we've got you know plasters and bandages and what have you. Just a little first aid kit. Very, very handy. Moving on to electronics. The majority of the electronics that I'm carrying are to make the videos that you're, you're watching right now. This is my MacBook, um, little MacBook Air. It's got a little solid state drive on it. It's been really reliable. Thin little thing. Great for unicycle touring and great for editing my videos. Data storage, uh, I carry four one terabyte hard drives and one SSD drive, I think it's 256 gigabytes. That one I use for editing, so I load any files I need to edit with that one. And then these ones are data storage, so this one is a direct copy of this guy and this guy is a direct copy of this guy. So I've only effectively got two terabytes of storage and then I've got two terabytes of backup of that storage. Okay, camera gear, exciting stuff. This is the new Insta360 One. I was actually given this by the company, so thank you, Insta360. Um, I'm still testing it out, but it's really, yeah, I, I, it's giving some really interesting results. And using it with their selfie stick, um, the selfie stick actually disappears. Um, so while I probably won't be making any 360 content, I'll definitely be using this, this camera and then taking the footage it creates to make it into 2D images, if that makes any sense. Obviously I can't film this camera with itself, so I'm using my phone here. Um, this is the Sony a6000. I've been using this thing for all of my Australian videos and uh, it'll be used for the rest of the trip so long as I don't bust it. Uh, I really like it and the audio is pretty good. I've got little micro muff things on the top of it. People always ask me about these. These are to block audio and wind noise. Um, to hopefully give you cleaner audio. It's not perfect, but in some situations it really does help. Um, and then I've got a little, um, it's just a standard 18 to 55 lens on the front there, or 16, I think it's 16 to 55. No, 16 to 50. 16 to 50 lens on the front of that. And that's the, that's the third lens. I've busted two of those lenses so far. But there you are, making videos. That's what I shoot with. Along with the kit lens, I've also got this Tamron 105mm lens. Really enjoying it. It's, um, I bought the thing in Singapore for like 60 quid. Um, super cheap. Um, and it's great for when you just want to sort of compress the background a bit, get a little bit tighter in a shot. Um, manual focus everything, manual aperture. But I love it. And I spend most of the time just sitting it, or just putting it on a tripod and then riding past. And it helps to really give a different shot Otherwise, if I'm just using the, the sort of standard kit lens, you tend to be stuck with these quite wide shots a lot of the time. So this thing helps me to give something a little bit different to the videos. Similar vein to the Tamron lens, even cheaper. I think this thing cost me about 30 quid, I think. It's a, it's a camera, it's a, it's a lens from a CCTV camera. Um, and it's 1.7 aperture, so it's super, super wide. And it gives a very, very different look. Uh, I don't use it all that much, but it's nice for when it gets sort of when you're in low light situations. Um, it's a little bit soft around the edges, very soft, but it's just something a bit different. And it was super cheap, so I bought it. Lost the uh, lost the lens cap for it, so I've made this thing out of uh, duct tape. So there you are. There's a use for duct tape there. But yeah, nice lens. Uh, it's a Fujian. Okay, moving on quickly. Infrared remote for the Sony. Um, four spare batteries for the Sony camera, charging cable for the MacBook, 
USB thingamajigger for the wall, whatever. Um, got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, I only just got this, um, it's really good, be able to charge up all my kit in the tent and what have you, and then a bunch of cables, because you need that. This is my torch, my front light of my bike, it's just a multi-purpose thing. Um, it's a cat eye, something or other, not certainly sure what it is, it's bright, there you are. Um, dropped it a fair few times, seems pretty durable, um, and the battery on this thing lasts a really long time as well. I think I get about 10 hours on the high setting, and then maybe 30 on the, on the, low, on the low setting. And it's just a really solid light. This little guy is quite interesting. This is a spot tracker, um, and this is what updates my website, my Where's Ed page. Um, so when it has battery, um, I just turn it on during the day, and it pings every half an hour or so, and it updates my route uh, of where I am. And it's also got a little SOS um, button as well, which I've never pressed, but apparently, it's difficult with one hand, but if you, uh, if you open that flap and then hold down that SOS button, the local police will get cooled. So that's uh, all the police or the emergency services or whoever, if you're in trouble. So that's pretty handy, keeps a bit of peace of mind, but as I say, never had to use it, don't think I will. I'm almost there, I promise. Um, okay. Because uh, I'm losing light and I want to get through this quickly, uh, this next bit's just me a kind of quick fire round of miscellaneous items. Passport, money, bike lock, travel pump, baby powder for my bits, Suzu cram for my crotch, book that I've been carrying for a while but still haven't read yet, glasses case and cycling specs from iTech. Thank you iTech, they're great. Notebook, pen, sharpie, toothpaste for my teeth, toothbrush for my teeth, Swiss army knife, spoon, comb, folding backpack, buff, four water bottles, chlorine tablets for purifying water, a toy dinosaur called Clarence, and two final items, a Christmas hat that Super Cycling Man gave me, and a medal that I was given by the family that I'm staying with here. They own a um, engraving business, and they engraved me my own medal. It's, uh, it's not gold, but it's very nice. Um, and they also, same family, let me take over their, their garage today. Uh, <laughs> I have to lay out all my stuff. So that's it. That's all my stuff. That's what I'm carrying in my unicycle. Um, I now need to pack it into my bags and, and get on the road tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd spend the day doing this, showing you what I was carrying on my unicycle. It's a lot of stuff.